Hi everyone, Petra here with Petra's Creative Plants. Thank you for joining me today. So today I'm going to do a plan with me video in my classic vertical happy planner that I use um, for my day-to-day -day planning as well as creative journaling. So let's get started. <music> So for this spread, I've actually made some stickers that I'm going to be using. Um, and this spread idea was inspired by one that I have seen on Instagram. I've seen tons and tons of variations um, of these like rainbow floral spreads. But the one in particular that I liked, I saw it was, um, it was done by Jessica with Love Love Posh. And it was beautiful. And she had her colored boxes with flowers all around them kind of in the middle so I wanted to do something similar to that um so I've made some colorful boxes you'll have to excuse this my printer had a little tenter ta temper tantrum so I had to do like head cleaning and all that stuff and then it still left a bit of excess ink up there but it's okay because it didn't get onto any of my stickers so that is all right um I didn't cut out these day of the weeks because the the font didn't print really well and some of the areas were too thin um so I won't use those I'll just use the boxes and the bullet points and then I've got a couple of sheets of rainbow colored florals and then here I have my day of the week headers that I will be using um and so I need to decide if I want to do the boxes kind of in the middle with the florals all around, which is kind of like the one that I had seen, or if I want to do them lower down and just have the florals kind of falling out from underneath. And I think that's what I want to do. So I want to have them lower down with the florals falling underneath, and then I can have my bullet points up at the top. So we need to start with some whiteout. I'm going to grab my Bic whiteout. I am going to be whiting out the days of the week up here. And I'm going to be whiting out this over here. Okay. So let's start by putting the days of the week back on. I'm going to grab my tweezers. And I'm going to start with Wednesday because it is the longest name for the days of the week. So, and I'm trying to decide. I just, I'm going to flip it upside down because I want to see if I want to white out those lines underneath as well, or if I'm going to put them, I think I'm just gonna put them on top. Okay. So, Wednesday. Sometimes when I'm filming, it's easier for me to put things upside down just for me to be able to see that I'm lining them up straight. Okay, and we'll do these ones. So it's been a week for me. Um, I had my last official order from my Petra's Creative Plants sticker shop, which is now closed. Uh, and it was kind of neat because my very last order was placed by the same person who put in my very first official order. And that was um, a very sweet lady, Rhonda, 
She has been a supporter of mine from the very first get-go, my very first YouTube video, through all my social media travels, and she is just a phenomenal, phenomenal person and so kind and caring. So it was very fitting, um, in my opinion, that she was the first and the last order placed. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up this long um, box, and this has kind of like a bit of a, it's not a full rainbow on it, but it, it's a little ombre happening. So I have to decide if I want the lighter. I think I want the lighter to the top. I like that a little bit better. So I'm going to place this down on the side here, like so. And then next I'm going to decide how I want to place these boxes. And they are different size sizes. Um, so I think I'm going to go... And I'm going to go along and kind of white out this line. All the way across. Just because I don't want it to show through. I don't want to take the chance of it showing through. Okay. So this one here, I think I'm going to start by putting it like so and then the orange one is going to be a little bit smaller and it can kind of come in like this and the yellow one the yellow I might even put in I might lift up this corner of the orange and put the orange on top because it is a smaller box. So I don't want to lose any of the orange box if I can get it up. These stickers can be hard to peel up sometimes, so we'll see. Might be able to, might be able to. Okay, let's see if that's enough space. Trying to get it so that it won't, I don't have to cut it off the border for where the hole punches go. But I can cheat and I can trim off a bit of this border here, perhaps. Or we'll just pull back more of the orange sticker. Okay. So I'm going to trim off a little bit here. There we go. All right. That works. I forget that I have this cutting blade here and I have an extra blade in it too. I should start using this one more often. Um, this is a Martha Stewart brand one, but the blade, you can turn it so you can do all kinds of shapes. That's six and sharp. I should use that more often. Okay, anyways, then we're going to do green and blue. So I'm going to put down the blue and the purple ones first. I think this one I'm just going to do kind of like so. And we'll come in and put the pink one in as well. And I'll do the pink one kind of more like more like this, and it is going to go off the edge a little bit. That is okay. We'll just trim it. And we'll get our purple one in like that. And the green one. It's going to come in like that. Okay. So we've got the boxes going across the bottom. Let's pull in some flowers. Okay, so we're going to start with the red. And I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to grab one of my Jelly Roll pens and I'm just going to come down here and quickly go over these lines just so that they don't show through as much. And 
white jelly pens or white gel pens I should say in general are something that I have struggled with to figure out exactly how to get the best functionality out of these because you know you see so many posts and videos and things and people use them and they just seem to work so beautifully and so effortlessly and I tried many different kinds different sizes and I would just struggle to get a nice solid flow of ink from them and I'm finding the trick for getting them to work really well is not to put a lot of pressure because I tend to be heavy-handed when I'm writing with my pens and that and with these pens if you just put very very minimal pressure the ink flows way better than if you were to push hard and then don't go over it again while the ink is wet because that just pulls it back up so just not a lot of pressure and it seems to work better not perfect but it's definitely better but I struggled with them for a long time <laughs> and it was quite frustrating so yeah this week it's been kind of a big week I shut down my sticker shop which was a really hard choice for me to make um, but right now I need to focus on just continuing to heal with my ongoing issues from my head injury and I am back at work thankfully which is great however that being said because I do a lot of computer work um, I work I do administration for uh, three different rehabilitation departments at my local hospital so it's busy it's a busy job it's a lot of computer work it's a lot of stimulation and multitasking all day long so by the time I get done my brain is beyond done so I can't handle all the extra time on the computer at home and designing and everything else that I need to do to run a successful business on the side so I made the choice to shut it down for now I may start up down the road again we will see how things go but for now, I, I just, I can't commit to doing it how, in my mind, I feel it needs to be done properly and to put in all the time and effort for it. So it is what it is. It was just a hard choice. So now I'm going to start to put in some of these flower stickers. Um, and I'm going to cut them around these boxes. So what I'm going to try to do is to just stick them down more so where they'll be going and not so much on the boxes because I don't want to ruin those box stickers. So this can be tricky sometimes. Um, so just have to go slow and careful. Push a little harder with this knife. Okay, and then here. And I'm not pushing these stickers down onto my paper very hard at first until I've trimmed off the excess. And I'm going to save these little off cuts in case I need to fill in some other areas. And when you peel these clear stickers up, you just got to go nice and slow. Okay, let's get some other red flowers in there. I really like this dark one here. I never bring this one in. And 
nice bright red one like this can kind of come up in here. Same thing where we'll cut this around this box. And like this little bit here, it'll be really easy to kind of help fill in this gap. We just need to cut it around this orange sticker or the orange box. So this is a kind of tedious, time consuming process. So as I go ahead and put, I will do the red, the orange, the yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. And I will probably go ahead and just fast forward this part because it can be pretty tedious. All right, so I've got all of the florals down and it's just kind of this waterfall of flowers underneath. I really like that. I do want to go ahead and go and put in some of my bullet points up in these top boxes. I 
think three in each will do it. I'm really liking how this is coming together. It's a little strange working off of a full letter size sheet of stickers. <laughs> I'm used to having the little sheets from kits and stuff. That's okay. Let's have a look. I like that. I do kind of want to put something in here by the June. I'm just going to take a look at what flowers I have left. Maybe I can find something that I would like to put there. Wonder. with the greenery on it. If I did something like this and I just kind of cut it to fit, let's see how that'll look. Trick is cutting in a straight line with this one. It's not always easy. Oh dear, come on. There we go. All the way through down here. It can be a little nerve wracking because you don't want to cut through your sticker. Or, I mean, not through your sticker. You want to cut through the sticker, but not through your planner page. So, you got to watch how much pressure you use. All right. There. I like that. Okay, let's pop this one onto the discs. have it. This is my rainbow floral spread for this coming week, June 5th to the 11th. Um, I thought it would be fitting to do some sort of a, oh, a little bit of a sticker. Um, it'd be fitting to do some sort of a rainbow type spread 
for the first full week of June. And of course, I love my florals. So there we go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what are your favorite types of rainbow spreads to do. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Yeah.